you have a really good heart. You exude happiness and joy. You make everybody around you feel better about themselves and about whatever they're doing in life. You know why? Because every time y'all go out, roller skating, the movies, for coffee, you're covering people. Stop covering people. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. Is this three bucks here, four dollars there? Oh, the movie's just twelve dollars. You'll get me again, girl, or dog. I know you got me. No, uh-uh, no. Because last time I checked, I had you last two times and you haven't paid for anything. So I really applaud the other person because you just a guppy. Stop covering people. Guess what? If they don't have it, then they don't need it. Okay? If they don't have it, then they don't need it. Stop covering people. You working your butt off, saving your money, investing your money, etc. And you're covering people either because you're so nice or they don't have it. Then counsel it. This is the thing. You're working towards your own definition of wealth. Your own definition of how much money that you want in your pockets when you get older. There is no magic number. See, people around the world trying to come up with this magic number and all these equations, right? The, the, the rule of 72. Save 15%. And I put out videos on those because they're great tools. But nobody really knows how much money you're going to need in your retirement because no one knows how long you're going to live. No one knows how much you're going to spend in retirement, okay? But there's good equations out there and algorithms to assist us, to help us to live off the money we should be saving. Stop covering people because when you're covering people, you're taking the money that you would have saved or put towards investment into somebody else. Now, guess what they can do? That 12, 15, 20 bucks that you spent on them, now they can save. Now, granted, some of you have friends, some of you have family members that you can absolutely trust. Where last time they got you, this time you're going to get them. I understand. So that is totally fine. I'm not talking about that. But some of you, a lot of you know of those people, whether they're family or friends or associates, that every time they go out, they don't take a step forward, they take a step back. Because they know what? You got it. Girl, I know you got it. And you're like, all right, I'll get it this time. You're like, oh yeah, man. Oh man, you got that, man. I got you later, dog. I'm like, didn't he say that like three times ago? Oh no, nah, man, you gotta get yourself today. Oh no, nah, man, I can't even do it. Uh, well, I can't do it either. So we could just go and counsel this. Sometimes you have to be that way. You don't always have the money. You always have the money, but you don't always have the money for them. Okay, and that's what you're thinking in your conscience. You don't always have the money, but you always have the money, but you don't always have the money for him or her. So this is Ross where aware. You have to be really careful and strategic in a way that I'm not trying to have you to offend family or friends or associates, but I'm trying to have you to bring things to your conscious mind for you to realize that everybody that around you is not friends. Everybody that around you are not your family, even though they share your same blood. And everybody around you, yeah, they associate with you because you're doing something for them. But when you stop doing something for them, you won't see their ass no more. I'm out.